Welcome back, Johnny here, and I got another exciting video for you today. In today's video, I'm going to give you an update on Inovio stock, or ticker symbol INO. Now, about six months ago, I made a video on this exact stock, stock day trading Inovio Pharmaceuticals. Now this was back in June 23rd. I did a day trade in a single day and then I uh, recorded it and then I did a recap on it. So total I was trading this company at around $21 at the time. $20. As you can see I bought a share at 2018. I bought a share at 2053 and then I bought three shares at 2053. I thought it was going to keep going up with an indication of it going down so much right here. It was going down and I was like you know what I'll catch it right up. I waited for validation. I bought at the peak right here at 2180 and then it started going down it was started going down right here recapped up just a slight bit and I was like you know what let's get out at 2016 now I only made a 95 cent profit but I learned so many different things and lessons from this day trade and as you can see it's gone down tremendously since then throughout the day of this recording in general it looks like it never broke back up 20 uh, it looks like 20 and 50 cents or 20 and 80 cents right around there about 20 and 50 cents so it never broke up above that for the rest of the day now in the comments you guys said you know why would I trade such a bull company this company is gonna be worth 35 40 dollars and and you know in number one why would you trade it what's the point of trading it basically and again it wasn't necessarily a company to hold long term and it was just a simple day trade it was something that i identified that had potential to get some gains and that's what i did um you know did the following week they go up to 35 or 45 i believe so i think they got up to a high about 32 but then it went down so let's talk about that let's talk about that right okay so let's go back to Robinhood. they are currently trading today at nine dollars and twenty seven cents right there on the bottom of the chart January 10th 2021 today is January 10th this company is trading for nine dollars and twenty seven cents what happened well I was trading it in June June 23rd is when I made my first trade and I threw in like twenty dollars. I was like, okay, let's check it out. It's a huge runner. A lot of good news was happening because this is one of those companies that has like a vaccine for the the pandemic, whatever. Um, they got up. Maybe they do. You know, cool, good for them. It looks like they got up to thirty one dollars. Let's see, what's the high? What was the high for this? I'm not sure if it even shows you on here. Probably not. Mm, nope doesn't show you the high well if I can get on here it looks like July June 29th I got up to thirty one dollars and sixty nine cents now a lot of people in the comments are it's gonna go to thirty five forty five dollars this and that great that's a great speculation but I wasn't in this company long term I was in it to day trade I had specific things that I wanted to do I wanted to average up my position as it was growing and then I wanted to sell off and be out which I did was it good execution no I could have bought at a much lower price. I could have noticed it was overbought. And I could have lost a lot of money. And a lot of money to me would have been the entire amount that I had, which was $190. I mean, that's like 200 bucks. Which literally, if I would have kept it at the $20 mark, it's now $9. I mean, I would have lost half of my money. I'd have like, from 190 I wouldn't have much at all. I'd have like 80 bucks. You know, and I don't, I'm not a big uh, supporter of losing my money. I don't like to lose money. Um, so what happened? It dropped. Within the next day, June 30th, July 1st, $19. So I would already be negative in the money because my average cost was, um, I don't know, I think it was right around like $21 or something like that. And I bought five at 29 So I was like, at, I mean, it, my average wasn't that low but it wasn't that high either so I would have lost money now it's at nine dollars well it's definitely not a company I would invest in now it's definitely not a company I would hold long term 
25% analysts out of eight ratings are saying to buy it. 63 are saying to hold. So yeah, there, it might go back up. There might be better test results. But look, I don't like negative earnings either. I don't. If a company cannot support itself and profit on earnings, then I don't want to deal with it. I just don't. I mean, I'll, I'll keep it on my watch list. I'll wait and see what happens. But am I going to load up and buy a ton of them right now at $9? No, I'm not. I am not. I'm going to wait for validation. I'm going to wait till it goes up again. And I might day trade it again if it has signs of potential. But the point is, when I day traded it, I saw potential. I really did. There was good news catalyst. This is why it went up. But I should have got in here at the $16 mark or even the $20. Well, I did kind of get in at the $20 mark. But even the $16 mark, I should have got in. Could have waited, I think, one extra day and it would have been like way up here in the 30 whatever range, right? Could have waited one more day and it would have been up into June 29th, the $30 range. Okay, I would have made some money. Then I would have doubled my money. My $190 would have went closer to, you know, almost 400 which isn't bad. You know, say three, 360 370 conservatively. So that would have been a nice trade, right? In a day or two, a swing trade. But see, I wasn't going for a swing trade either. I was going for a day trade. I didn't know what was going to happen. And the point of this video is to give you an update on where this company is now. They're not doing very well. And it shows my setups, how I day traded and averaged up. Should have sold at the 22 mark. Didn't. I could have locked in probably closer to you know, maybe 10 bucks, something like that, 10 or 20 bucks, which would have been really nice. But I bought more here and then I sold. But I knew to sell. I wasn't like, well, let's wait and see. It's going to go up again. I was like, uh, gut feeling says it's going to drop. And it sure did. Now, I could have turned it into a swing trade and sold it at the 25, 28, $30 mark. But what if it never would have went up? What if it didn't go up on January 23rd from the 21 I was trading up to here? What if it just straight up just went right down and I would be holding a $200 position with the 50% cut and I'd only have about $80 and now I'm like this every day checking to see if it's going up checking the news to see if it's going up cut your losses even if I waited till like even this next little dip here and I'm like oh it's going up to the 18 I would have had to wait an extra two and a half months and I would still be down, uh, what I have, like an average of 21, 21 or 22 average. So I'd be down $4 per share. But that's where I would cut my losses if I could in this little area right here where it shows that it's going up. Because if I wait too long, boom, right back down. So you need to know when to cut your losses for sure too. And I hope a lot of you that uh, had these comments um, were fortunate enough to to cut your losses when it was time to cut them, definitely. But um, just thought I'd give you an update on the video. Super uh, interesting information. And, um, you know, smash that like button if you haven't already and subscribe. But um, if you're still here, you're still watching, um, Inova Pharmaceutical Inc. is not doing very well. Now, with their max chart back in 1999, they were trading at $56. And that didn't last very long because of February 1st, 2000, it spiked up to $118 on this company that we're talking about. <laughs> and then instantly whew, went all the way down 27 bucks, 12 bucks, 7 bucks, $2.40, 2002. This company was a penny stock. It was. It was a penny stock. And for many years, it didn't get much traction. It got up to $26 mark. And then it went back down, 11 bucks, 12 bucks, 10. And for many years, starting 2008, it never passed the $10 mark. Ever. Imagine how many investors are stuck over here in the 80s and $100 per share, losing 90, 100% of their account if they didn't sell. And they're spending all these years, 15, 20 years, hoping that it would go back up. And they catch a little break here at the 26. But even the $30 mark, if you were invested way up here in the hundreds, 
or even in like the 70s, I mean, 30 bucks ain't nothing. That's still 50% cut. So the market cap is saying they're at 1.5 billion and the P ratio is in A. Their EPS earnings per share is a negative 1.32. No dividend, obviously. They're not making any profits. Average volume is around 10 million, which is pretty insane. Uh, so it's definitely a company that people are looking at. And four days ago, uh, Novio ad vaccine deal is a positive, but not a game changer. Analysts say, what do you do? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is I day traded it, made 95 cents. I mean, it's not a lot. So I, don't even, I think that's barely even 1% of the $200 I was trading. I mean, not even 1%. It's half half a point. <laughs> but, you know, it's all about learning. It's all about education. It's all about just, you know, getting involved and trying it. If I never would have tried it, I never would have did it. And now I know more from it. And um, I can't wait to do more day trades now. But that's a recap and update on INO or Inovio Pharmaceutical Inc. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And you guys have a great day.